I was uploading my video yesterday of the live digs, I noticed something um, when I was digging or when I hit on the ring, okay? Now, because I don't film the whole process of finding the target and, and all that stuff, I, I pretty much press record once I found the target. The whole story isn't always shown, okay? So when I find targets, so when I'm hunting, people know by now that I go relatively slow, yeah, and that just allows the machine to do its thing, you know, pick up the deep targets, allow the discrimination to work correctly, okay? So there's a number of points that, that, that are kind of in my mind, um, and that's why I swing at this kind of speed and quite wide, okay? So when I initially find a target, I'm swinging wide. So I've got a coin there, okay? So let's just, I'm gonna hold the coil up a little bit just to try to mimic a deeper target. So I'm gonna do my swing speed and, and you know, how wide I swing over it. Let's turn the volume up. Okay, so that speed and that kind of nice, sort of wide rhythmic swing allows the machine to lock on and for the discrimination to come through properly like that other direction so most of the time before i press record i've already done this process so on the ring you were watching the end of the process which was me pretty much swinging very short quite fast just to isolate it because it helped me pinpoint okay don't do that initially when you find a target yeah look nice slow wide swings because that way you can spend a little bit of time with the signal suss it out and then obviously dig it I was doing this on the ring, which is all very well, but that was solely to isolate for pinpointing. That was not, that doesn't benefit anything, you know, making a habit of that. And I, I needed to get that, yeah, out of the way. Cause when I looked at it, initially when I found that ring, using the slow wide swing, it absolutely smacked on it okay so if you ever see me swinging short and a little bit fast that's when i'm kind of isolating the target to pinpoint <laughs> 